Okay, uh, next one I want to show you is a, a different variation of the flies or combination you might be able to do with these brushes or with the 5 inch ultra brush. That it will incorporate, that what I'm going to show you, it will incorporate the short fibers uh, brush, which are this guy over here. So I'm going to be using these two guys over here. And this is how it works. some thread Just like that I'm using this black one it's a black color and then I have here my short one so in other words what I'm doing over here is I will lay and on the body with the short fibers and this is how it works it's a simple wrap around and you can choose any colors you want this is a hot orange you can use a red you can use a yellow uh, green chartreuse, yellow chartreuse, uh, many colors are available. There we go. Again, it depends how many turns you will give it, how sparse or thick you want to find. And this is just to give a gen general idea of what can be done with this. fibers very simple of course you will not see on the body right now as much you would see once this flies gets in the water it gets wet but I'm sure if we're going to focus in a little bit we can hold the light you can see the underbody the orange you should be able to see it right there so this is the other variation that you could do it when it comes to the brushes. Uh, I'm sure you liked it, what I just showed you. Okay, what I would like to show you and talk about a little bit more about the brushes and what can be done with this brush. I mean, there really is a lot can be done. It's, it's just endless, you know, what you can do with it. 
Um, over here we have the Anathomus brushes. Anathomus brushes have a, a little bit extra flush on it. Um, most of it was designed for the steelhead and salmon fishery. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to be any good for salt water or fresh water or trout or stripers. Uh, again, it's handleless so what you can do with it. And then we have the uh, shrimp topping brush, which I'll show you how that works as well, right here. And then we have the EP streamer brush and the EP streamer brush with the rubber legs, right here. And then here we have the short fibers brush. And here we have the sparkle, you know, basically it's the sparkle that uh, I did put on the brush and I'll show you what you can do with that. Over here in my home water when it comes uh, September, October, November, we have algae. Uh, those are fish that are concentrating on rainy fish and this anatomous brush over here are perfect to create those little anchovies. I'm going to show you how that works. So let me grab it here, a small hook, here we are, like this, I'm going to grab it. this, this is a Again, if you feel like it to have a, a chartreuse colors or a tan colors, brown color thread as an underbody, you know, feel free to do that. Again, this is just to show you how easy it is to create a small, a very small bait fish pattern. Here it is. Just wrap around. And again, you can tie sparse or thick, whatever your needs are. Just again, to give you a general idea how to deal with the brush. Now at this point it's up to you if you want to trim it or not, or if you want to leave it, you know, the length. But I think I'm going to trim it a little bit, because this is a little bit too bulky for a little anchovy. So simple I'll do is trim all around and there you have it right here you can make as thin you like to it put it back on the hook to show you right there. Again, you can use 
markers. You can do an olive, you can do a tan, you can do pretty much anything you want. Then you put the two eyes on it, and that's your little bay fish pie.